I love the smell of cinnamon rolls. And this holiday season, I've teamed up with Kerrygold to show you how to make these traditional cinnamon rolls. With the high quality and natural ingredients, these rolls deliver extraordinary flavor that will wow your friends and family this holiday season. Let me show you how to make them. In my cinnamon rolls, I'm using a fresh Kerrygold butter and Irish cream liqueur, which I put in the frosting and it's just, it's so good. So in the stand mixer, I have milk that I heated up and I added a packet of yeast and some sugar. I have four eggs. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. I have four and a half cups of AP flour. Start it off on low so all the flour doesn't go everywhere. All right, once the dough looks ready, you don't see any more flour bits, you're gonna add in your fresh Kerrygold Irish butter. And this is from grass-fed cows in Ireland. They're just bee bopping around, they're eating a lot of grass, they're super psyched, and their butter tastes delicious. So I'm gonna add this chunk by chunk because I don't wanna add too much. And I'm gonna slowly bring up the mixer again. All right, so you just want this to incorporate for a couple minutes. If it looks a little sticky, you can add some more flour, but it should be a smooth, soft dough. All right, my dough looks ready. All right, I'm just gonna roll it out a little bit because I want a nice, smooth dough. You can see the butter is nice and incorporated. Grab an oiled bowl, and I'm just, so it doesn't stick to the sides, place it in here. And then I'll place this little towel over here. Now you just wanna let it rest for about an hour and a half, two hours, just until it's doubled. So put it somewhere warm. So my dough is resting. I'm gonna make the filling for my cinnamon rolls and brown sugar goes in. Cinnamon, cornstarch. I'm using cornstarch in the filling because it just thickens it up. Whisk this together. You don't want any clumps of sugar or cinnamon. You just want it fully incorporated. Perfect. You look great. Set you aside, I'm gonna get my dough. It took a nap for an hour and a half, and it looks gorgeous. I'm gonna cut it in half. Flour on the surface so it doesn't stick. All right, so you wanna roll this out about the size of the pan you're using. I'm using a nine by 13, but just whatever pan you use, kind of use that as your guide of how big you should roll out your dough. I make these cinnamon rolls every Christmas, every holiday season I make these for my family. I, I don't think I'm allowed in the house. Like, my mom's like, you making, you making cinnamon rolls this year? And I'm like, yeah, mom, I, yes, of course I am. She's like, okay, good to see you. I'm like, are you fooling me? I'm, am I not allowed in the house unless I make these? They're my family's favorite thing to have. I make them whenever I see my, my grandpa Hemingway and he loves them so much that he actually puts butter on top of the cinnamon rolls. I'm gonna spread some more fresh Kerrygold butter on top. Half of the mixture. I love cinnamon rolls. They get, every time I make these for friends or family, anyone, they just, they just light up. You know, that's what the holidays are about. All right, starting at the top, I'm gonna roll it over. All right, move it forward. And I'm gonna push it in a little bit. So this is how I evenly cut up my dough. You go in the middle first, so you have an even space. Half, yeah? Cut these into thirds, so you have six. 12 total. All right, so take your cinnamon roll and put the cut side up. And give them a little space because these are gonna rise again, so they'll puff up. So give them like an inch border on each side and like an inch between them. My cinnamon rolls are ready. Well, they're almost ready. They need to rise one more time, so I'm gonna cover them. I'm gonna place them somewhere warm and let them rise for another 30 minutes. I'm gonna pop them in the oven at 375 for 25 minutes until they're golden brown and gooey, gooey, and delicious. They look so good. While my roll's cool, I'm gonna make my icing or my topping, and what goes in is some powdered sugar, more Kerrygold Irish butter, which is softened, room temp, so it's easy to incorporate. And what sets this over the top is this Irish cream liqueur. And it is so good, it's like sweet and a little sassy. It's me, this is me in a bottle. Powdered sugar goes in, my butter. I'm gonna add this superior Irish cream liqueur and it is smooth and velvety. It is made from real chocolate and natural Irish cream. And also, bonus, it has oak aged Irish whiskey. I'm gonna add it to my icing. Start on low. If it looks too dry, it looks a little too thick, add some more. When in doubt, add some more.
You want this just nice and smooth and creamy. It's ready. All right, these are cool. Cool enough for me to handle. If you put it on right when they get out of the oven, it's just gonna melt everywhere and be a mess. So let them cool before you frost them. And then you spread it on. I mean, are you kidding me right now? Look at these. They smell insane. I have to take a little bite. I'm sorry, I just have to. This looks so good. I mean, are you kidding me right now? These are hands down some of the best cinnamon rolls I have ever had. And I'm not just saying that because I made it, but I'm telling you, this Kerrygold butter and the Irish cream liqueur, it just takes it over the top. Those fresh ingredients, it just makes these spectacular. I hope you try them this holiday season. Let me know how it goes. Happy holidays. <laughs>